Welcome back to Let's Play Rise, Son of Rome. I'm Burning Dog Face, and things aren't going so well. And I found a vista just there, but... The frame rate is, uh, kind of confused. And barbarians are swarming through Rome. <coughs> in the way of my shot. I dare you. I don't think he enjoyed that very much. I feel like he's going to stab him in the face if he does that one. No. Who's next? Who would like to be murdered? Step right up, sir. You're just in time. I have an opening in my schedule. That's worse than you think. I just cut you with this blade, and your friend had syphilis. That's okay. You weren't gonna feel the effects anyway. No time to fuck around with you, buddy. I have more important men to kill. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's not anything important. Look, 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 look. Um, okay. I thought that those plants were something important. They're just no, they're just bright green. Because that's a color that exists in the universe. No! It's 
It's worse than I could have imagined. You must save Rome. Save it from... Save it from them. You bastards! You murdering barbarian bastards! I will do as you bid, Father. I will save Rome from them. I'll spill their blood. I'm Commander Vitalian of the 14th. I fought with your father. If it's blood you want, I promise I will give you as much as you can handle. You were the second, aren't you? Yes, sir. Uh, Not anymore. Welcome to the 14th flag. Italian oversaw the completion of my training and made good on his promise. As part of the 14th, I'd soon have all the blood I could ever want. The island of Britannia, that fetid lair at the edge of our empire, was home to the bastards that had slaughtered my family and led the very rebellion which had spewed onto the streets of Rome. My posting with the 14th would take us to these isles where I would wreak my revenge, crushing this insurrection. Barbarians are the British? Sorry, my friend. Huh? It's a very large rib cage. So I'm gonna guess the guys we were supposed to be reinforcing are dead. 
Nice texture on that glop there. Is it weird that I'm actually impressed by how good the wet sand looks? I hate wet sand. That's exactly what it looks like. All smooth and squidgy. Well, time to get my kill on. Get out of my way, you communist. Oh, uh... Oh, good god, they're... comic books. Interesting. So his sister's name was Honorata. We're going to take out that chain tower. Our entire fleet will be destroyed. Well. At least... Father gets to be with uh, the rest of our family. There's that. Barbarian Grunt. The battlefront is imminent. Our druids concoct the strongest potions to ensure our warriors are imbued with mystical battle spirit and incapable of fear. But fear is not my quandary. No. I am afflicted only by a raging thirst for Roman blood, and it hones my wits to a sharp edge. The runes of our clan burn upon my flesh as we raise our call to the gods to see our leader, Bodica, shatter the spine of the invading army and bury its remains. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Sorry about that. I take this lozenge. Oh, he's got jawbones on his... Uh... And skull fragments on his belt. That's charming. What does this uh, lozenge wrapper say? It says, get through it and be unstoppable. Alright. To see our leader Bodica shatter the spine of the invading army and bury its remains in blood and ash. On to war. Action of our loved ones, our clan, our land, our Britain. Explain why you fought your way into Rome, you assholes. Where am I going? Can I climb up on this? Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot. The Antius Villa. It reminds me, very specifically, of an area from the beginning of God of War 2. Which I suppose makes sense. No, no, that was Greek. Never mind. Hmm. 
Yes, that means that god who showed up in the first one, if it were, for example, Aphrodite, she would actually be called Venus here. Conspicuous. The chains are still out the harbor. Watch okay. Uh, what did I just pick up? Scroll. Dover Catapult. This is what an inanimate object has to say. Ah, Flavio, it's happened just as I said it would. I've become a catapult. No. Um,. Do you remember when Centurion Josephus ordered us to train those so-called pacified Britons in the use of Roman artillery? I thought that if a rebellion should start, those treacherous bastards could use that knowledge against us. Well, a rebellion has started, and they have built rudimentary catapults and used them against us. That knowledge goes no further, because I am going to kill every single man upon them, their vile broken bodies catapulted back to their loved ones, using their catapult, of course. Then I will reduce the thing to ashes. No more training, no more knowledge, no more rebellions against Emperor Nero's glorious rule! Signed, Clementius Olve. Ooh. Sorry, dude, didn't mean to get that upskirt shot there. It's very difficult to die in battle and land in a dignified way, but I didn't have to make it worse like that. Down there. Get them. Fire! Well, that was dumb. You didn't even have a shield. Ah! Oh, good. I can do this. Get anything for picking up those skulls? 
I'm like wearing them as a necklace, all right? Because that would be weird. Well, for me. These guys seem to think it's okay. Didn't expect that, did you, eh, woman? Crushed by your own chain tower. <laughs> now you think that. that and I'm going to clear out this battlefield and then we'll call it a video. I would imagine that uh, you play this game for long enough and you can get the uh, You can get the, uh, you can predict the, the, the hits you need to use just by uh, looking at the animations. Oh, that's how that feels. No wonder they do that. It's really satisfying. Down you go. Finish your friend here. No place for your fetishes, friend. That was satisfying. Kind of landed in a uh, hard rock pose. I didn't see if I got a checkpoint just there. Well, worst case scenario, I'll have to replay a bit of this. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Rise, Son of Rome when we uh, press onward and try to take down that tower. Later!